Hi everybody, I'm Nick Mahasevich, VP of Sales here at M-Line. Today in this video, I'm gonna talk about corrugated board and corrugated boxes. So the first thing I'd like to show you are different types of corrugated board and thicknesses. This is an example of single face corrugated. Corrugated is made up of a liner sheet and a medium or fluted sheet. So you can see this single face sheet has one liner and one medium. This is a example of single wall board. There are two liners, a liner on either side and a fluted or medium sheet in the middle. This is very common, uh, a single wall box is very common. And a lot of times it's good for weights up to 60 pounds or so. After that, you wanna go to something like a double wall board. Here's an example of double wall. It has a liner sheet on both sides and also in the middle. So there's three liner sheets and then there's two medium or fluted layers as you can see inside. And a double wall board can go up to weights of around 120 pounds, depending on the exact double wall board grade. And then when you get into weights above that and for pallet boxes, you wanna go with a triple wall board. As you can see, multiple liner sheets, one on the outsides and then two in the middle. And then there's three layers of fluted or medium layers in, in the inside. And that's what makes a triple wall board. So all of these board grades can be used to make different styles of boxes. I'm gonna show you just a few real common box styles. So the first real common box style is a regular slotted carton or RSC. RSCs have four flaps on the top and bottom and when you fold the flaps together on the top, they normally meet in the middle and then you can run a piece of tape across it and give you a secure box closure. Next very common box style is an FOL or full overlap carton. Similar to an RSC, it has four flaps on the top and bottom also, but these layers fully overlap to the other side of the box, as you can see here. So when you fold them over, it goes all the way across instead of meeting in the middle. This gives you a lot of added board protection on the tops and the bottoms. If you could picture this box, there's four layers of corrugated above, above and below the product. Again, this is an FOL full overlap carton. Next common box style, OPF or one piece folder. Use this box style frequently for shipping things such as artwork, books, uh, picture frames, things of that sort, things that are very thin. As you can see here, it's perfect for something like that. And you can also do thin long products in a, in a common box style called a five panel folder. There are five panels on this, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five. And again, this is good for long, thin products. And you can see this thing just kind of folds up. And you can envision if something was very long, this would be a perfect box style for that. This is an example of a die cut corrugated item. You need tooling for this or you need to, to buy an off the shelf size, but this is a mailer box. And when you fold up a box, this type of box, this is a, a mailer box style, a little bit smaller in white, but you can see this is the type of box that it is. And you've all seen these before. These are very common in, in shipping. So all of these are available. All these different styles are available to print on. This is a printed mailer box, a digitally printed mailer box. Here's another example, digitally printed mailer box. And here is a, this is a flexo print. This is an RSC flexo print. As you can see here, this is an example of a box certification stamp. This is on the bottom of most FOL and RSC style boxes and others. This shows the box maker, if it's single wall, double wall, or triple wall, and also the board grade. So if you're having uh, questions about specking your boxes out or you need help with, your, with determining what board grade you're using, this is a perfect way to determine what that is, this box certification stamp. So I hope this video was helpful and you learned something. Again, this is just the basics. If you need more details, Need quotes, need help in engineering, please contact M-Line, contact your sales rep, our engineering department. Visit us at m-line.com, and we look forward to helping you. Talk soon.